Welcome back YouTube Dump Grind. What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Haven't already? Smash the subscribe button. Like the video. Stay up to date on all future content. Seven o'clock. Sitting here now, waiting in line to get into the dump. Uh, you can see time is uh, seven o'clock. That's my alarm for normally getting up for my day job. Um, so days that something you're gonna have to think about if you're doing this kind of as a side hustle, right? That you know you're gonna have to put in the extra time, right? Like so, I normally get up at seven o'clock when I'm home. Well, you know, depends if I'm going in the office or not. But seven o'clock, six thirty if I'm going in, um, but for dumps, dump, you know, when I'm working, get up at six o'clock, I leave the house by 6.30, and that way the dump opens at seven. As you can see, if I switch the camera around, so I don't think they've really let anybody in. There was just a gap or something from the big truck, so. There's a lot of bigger trucks, but there's only just one pickup truck ahead of me, I think. So it should be fairly quick. Um, so it's seven o'clock now. I'll probably, I, I should definitely be out of here by 7.30, 7.20. And then uh, I'm about 20 minute drive home. So be home before eight o'clock. And I, you know, I normally start my, my main job 7.30, 8 o'clock. You know, really just depends on the day. Um, Sometimes I eat lunch, sometimes I don't eat lunch. So, uh, again, my finish time is, is 3 30, 4 o'clock. But we're gonna, we're gonna dump this. I'll see if I can maybe get some videos of the, of my dump, um, that I go to. But this is just normal, normal dump stuff, guys. If you're looking to get into it, I mean, this is what you have to look into from, from doing it now for, you know basically two months already I can tell you mornings actually really aren't that bad or I haven't found to be bad Saturdays are kind of the worst because I think you get a lot of the homeowners that are doing stuff and they'll load up a pickup truck by hand or some flatbed trailer and then they'll come here and it takes them 15 minutes to unload their vehicle versus you know you who have a dump trailer and you you know in and out in less than a couple minutes so that can be frustrating all right guys so now we're at the waste scale drive up here they punch you in the computer weigh you have to get weighed in obviously to tell what you've dumped um but yeah the woman just basically asked you know do you have any tires appliances stuff like that things you aren't supposed to dump um, I still have to call I don't have a commercial account with these guys I don't even I had asked once before and I, you know if I can get one that's great but it might save me a little bit of money but I at the moment just don't have the not the capacity, but uh, the volume. You know, I don't have the volume that they probably would want for a commercial company. I mean, I don't dump, you know, 50 tons of a week or something. And then here, I'll show you guys this real quick. So right next to the dump, it's a beautiful view here at this dump, but that's actually the Hudson River. So. All you guys down in New York City, mm, 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 it's nice. I would never eat a fish out of there, ever. I'd never swim in that water. So besides the dump here, they also had a, uh, I think it was an electric plant um, nearby too that used to dump uh, PC, I think PCP or PCB, some toxic chemical, not the drug, um, into the water. They dredged it, the whole thing, a few years back, but it's still, uh, yeah, very toxic. But this is what, uh, 
what comes down to you guys in the city. And you can't, uh, you can't tell me that this huge mound of shit doesn't leach into that water. I mean, here you can see, just coming around the corner, and there's more of it. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful view every morning when you come to dump. I mean, the water, the sun glistering off the water, it is good. So the issue I have with this dump, one use a transfer station was great, right? So I'm not driving around, hopefully cuts down on punctures, nails in the tires, that type of stuff. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's, they move the entrance, like for, I don't know, for planning. But so we're coming up on the transfer station right now. But, you know, there's a road that literally starts kind of right over here that you could pull in. So why you have to drive through the dump? So the problem is on a rainy day, you can imagine this is just a fucking mud pit and it's one hell of a ride. So you're hosing down your vehicle, your trailer, everything. All right. Now we have to drive back through the dump again. But yeah, if I wasn't by myself, I would have gotten some footage. I just it's a busy place, uh, so to sit there and, and try and take video while I'm dumping or doing um, other things probably would be frowned upon. So, no video today of the actual dump, but you know, you can imagine. You just there's uh, four different bays. That's the other thing here. So like now, I notice coming early, you get right in, but like right now they're loading up the excavator that picks through it and also moves it from the transfer station to garbage trucks the big almost 18 wheeler you know dumps and so when they do that they usually close like one or two bays some of the bay i mean it's like one bay but one side is like six one side's five um the problem is like with the dump trailer you basically take up the whole thing because in order to dump you have to swing your doors open which i mean my trailer's seven foot wide to begin with right the, just the bed so with the wheel wells probably seven and a half and then you swing the doors open those stick out another six inches on each side so i mean you're you're a pretty wide um piece of equipment at that point so to, to get somebody else with a dump or even a pickup truck with a trailer. You gotta imagine, like here's a guy right here. He's dropping off uh, yard debris. But a lot of homeowners come here and they have, you know, these little homemade trailers, little dinky trailers. They drive it once a year and, you know, their, their skills of backing up aren't really the greatest either. So you gotta be careful with that. So here we are back at the transfer station. So I'll weigh out. And then they just calculate the difference and that's what I pay. This should be a fairly light load because it was only half full and it was mostly big stuff. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Outdoors with Craig DC. Dumpster side hustle. So we made it back to the property. Now I'm gonna plug in my trickle charger. Make sure that it's actually charging. So one thing I did find out, I think I posted it in my first dumpster video. I thought I had an issue with the battery, but it's just these batteries are crap. And after, not really crap, but it's just poor design after looking into it more. So there's a reason why if you get the roll off trailers with the winches um, and hydraulics that they actually include a, a gas motor on the front because these batteries, that one battery will get you a dump and a half. Um, I mean, maybe two light loads, I, I, you know, really depends, but so I've been pretty busy. So the last two loads, again, I hadn't dropped it off to charge. So like today, this thing's going back out tomorrow. Um, so literally this is the only day I have it this week. And then I pick it up again, what, Saturday? Saturday evening can't dump it Sunday 
Monday's Memorial Day, so I may dump it Monday. They have limited hours just to empty it out, and then Tuesday it's rented out again as well. So, um, but yeah, you only get you only get about you know dump dump and a half. So when I was at the dump yesterday morning, and just uh, you know just so you guys are aware too, it's seven well seven fifty now. Um, so again, you know I usually start at eight o'clock at my main job so back still have 10 minutes to relax hang out dump dump and a half so on my last dump i got like three quarters of the way up and started clicking and i don't know i can show you guys this just in case anybody else uh runs into this but so i have an inline resettable fuse and so when this gets low like the power gets low it blows this fuse, which I'm not sure why, because if the battery is almost dead, I don't see how it's drawn. Like, I think it's overdrawing because the amperage is, is low or something. Or, um, But so it blows this. And then once this is blown, it won't charge off the truck. So with the truck, I mean, if you were in a pinch, you could, you know, like lift it. A little bit at it like you know an inch at a time wait a couple minutes go up another inch like you could get by but it would take you forever um, so my trick is just a jump pack put the jump pack on it and you know way way you go so I didn't I didn't need the jump pack I was able to inch it up twice um, raising it when I lowered it I had to use the jump pack because it I would have been there for another half hour trying to get it to go down and then so the other only other thing you know so i'm back here parked it's charging uh, today probably before i the end of the day i'll spray this down i haven't cleaned it in a you know a, probably three three rentals four rentals so i mean you can see there's some you know, grease or something there but i'll i'll blow the dust off mud the dump dump dirt and uh same with my truck give this thing a nice bath clean this up and get it ready to go for tomorrow's rental so as always guys thanks for tuning in hopefully you enjoyed the content if you did smash that subscribe button like the video uh, follow along for future videos and as always i will catch you guys again later